One of the questions that we often get from people who come to us for help is, when should I focus on fundraising? It reminds me of a story of one of the people who worked with us that were starting a family-based organization and it was really going well. They're doing great work, but they got to the point where their work had grown enough they needed to start putting more attention on fundraising. So she came to us, she hired us for our help and came to us and said, here's my idea. I want to have a great fundraising event once a year and raise the money for the whole year, cover our whole budget so that we don't have to worry about fundraising for the rest of the year. We can just focus on families and, and our community work. Our real work. Yeah. Right? <laughs> well, we told her was it, it, you know, it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Wish it did. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's not a, fundraising is not a faucet that you just turn on once a year and hope it works. It really is a pipeline that has to be constantly flowing. It's a process. You're building relationships with people who care about what you're doing and so they're giving to you. And that's what we constantly are teaching on Donor Farm is you're building relationships with people who are funders or funding your work because they understand the problem you're facing, that you're solving in the community, how you're solving it, and how their donation is gonna help advance that and keep it going. And so they're gonna be interested in getting reports on what's going on and hearing more about it. And then they'll give again at their own pace as they see progress. So it has to be that constant communication, nurturing relationships and watching those grow. And keep in mind, fundraising isn't always just asking for money. Oh, if, yeah. if you do have somebody who went to your big event, gave you a large donation, you can be fairly sure that they like what you, you presented, that they like the work you're doing in their community or in our world. And so they want to see it happening. And so you can invite them out for coffee or lunch or something, yeah. give them a report on what's going on. They may or may not give money. You don't even have to ask for money at that point. Just let them know what's going on, maintain the relationship. When it comes time to give again, then you've got the relationship to actually make the ask. And we keep talking about nurturing that relationship. That's the most important thing. So when is the right time to focus on fundraising? It's always. always. It's a process, it's not a faucet. It's a pipeline, a process. You have to constantly be doing it. By the way, the lady who I mentioned at the top of this, who was starting that family organization, ended up with our council and help being one of the most effective fundraising people that we've ever worked with. Definitely. And also at the same time, she built a fabulous organization that was so effective in changing lives and helping families because she saw it not as an interruption in her organization's work, but those funders were part of her organization's work and building relationships with them is part of what made her successful. So keep coming back to Donor Farm. These are just like the tip of the iceberg. We're giving you little tidbits of help that I hope are practical. There's a lot more to it, so keep coming back and learning more and finding new ways for us to help you through Donor Farm.